This will be a short demonstration to show how to measure resistance using the multimeter. First we turn it on, and when the meter powers up, its default mode is to measure voltage DC. So we can see that on the screen right here. There's a little bit of voltage appearing across the terminals. That's most likely due to electromagnetic interference the machine is picking up. So it's a very sensitive machine. If we want to measure resistance, we need to change the function. So we push the ohm 2 wire button. Now we can see the display changes to measuring ohms. So now it's time to make the connections. So we take our test leads and we're going to plug one end of the test lead into the low terminal over there. And we'll take another test lead and we'll plug that into the high terminal here. So the high terminal is used for measuring volts, ohms, and diodes. So we're measuring ohms, so we plug into the high terminal there. So now we have our two terminals right here, which we can put across our resistors that we want to measure. So we're making a measurement right now and it's displaying on the instrument. So it's saying that it's overloading. And what's actually happening is it's trying to measure resistance, but the resistance of the air between these two probes is so high that it can't measure them. So it's overloading, you know, it's going to infinity. So that's a good sign. If your meter is, if it was reading a value less than infinity, we wouldn't really trust it because there's no resistance across it. Now, on the other end of the spectrum, if we connect the two test leads together, there should be approximately zero ohms across there, which you can see there is here. We have 60 milli ohms across the, uh, you know, is what we're measuring in the instrument. And that 60 milli ohms could just be the contact resistance of the wires and the connectors in the instrument right there. So things are looking good. So now let's measure a resistor. So down here we have a few different resistors. So we're going to measure the resistance of the top resistor on the page. So we use the little hooks right here. So if we push down on the barrel right there, the hook comes out. So we grab one of the leads of the resistor with the hook and then grab the other lead with the other hook. So now we have a connection from our meter to our, from our, meter to our resistor. And if we look at our screen right there, it's saying that we're measuring 1.05 ohms. And this is indeed a one ohm resistor which I could tell by reading the color code on the resistor, so everything is working out well.